Hello, everybody. This is week two, day four. Semana número dos, día número cuatro. Today, we're going to do two pages of letters and their sounds. We're going to read a book, the classroom, and then we're going to talk and write about our classrooms. Vamos a hacer dos páginas de actividades con letras y sonidos. Vamos a leer un libro que se llama El Salón de Clase, The Classroom, y vamos a hablar y escribir sobre nuestras clases. Let's get started. So today, we're going to be looking at the letter R. Here's my R. Okay, you should repeat after me. R. R. And in all of these, there's a different letter that comes before the R. So here I have my letters G, R, and they make the sound gr, like grass. F, R, fr, frog. B, R, br, brick. T, R, truck C R cr crab D R dr good let's go through and say them one more time grass frog brick truck Crab. Dress. Nice. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to read the sentences and find the picture that matches. The frog is on the grass. Frog and grass. So here it is. The crab is not on the grass my crab right here good job Bev has a red dress here's my dress and here's Bev Bob drops a red brick here's a brick and here he is Gus is in the truck. Truck. Good job. Let's do another one. For this one, we're going to focus on my letter S. 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 With all of these, there's another letter that comes after the S. We're going to blend those together. Repeat after me. S, T, st, steps. S, P, sp, spill. S, N, sn, snack. S, W, sw, swim, s, k, sk, skips, s, m, sm, smell. Good job. Let's say them together again. Steps, spill, Snack, swim, skips, smell. Very good. Now let's read the sentences and find the picture. A big stick is on the steps. 
Here are my steps. Here. Bev skips. Here she is. The snack spills. Here's a snack, and here's spill. Nan can smell the snack. Smell, snack. Tim can swim. Swim. Great job. We did our activities today with my letter R, R, and my letter S, S, blending those words together. Now let's read the book, The Classroom. The Classroom. The chair. The desk. The book. The paper, the pencil, the eraser, the backpack, the classroom. Great job. Make sure you hit pause. You can listen to me read it again, or you can read it independently. For poner pausa, ustedes pueden reescuchar o pueden leerlo independiente. Now let's do some speaking and writing activities. So in your packet, it says, in a classroom. Here's a picture. The boy says, this is my classroom. Here is a teacher. Here are some students. And I can see the students have lots of things with them that we read in our book, like book, paper, desk, window, Backpack. This says seat. It's like another word for chair. We also have the word student. So this says draw your classroom here. I want you to think and you can draw what you remember about your classroom. Now we're going to write about it. This says my classroom has como mi salón tiene. Mi clase tiene. What are some things we can say that my classroom has? Yes, you can use some of the vocabulary here. My classroom has paper. My classroom has books. My classroom has a teacher. My classroom has students. You can also use vocabulary from our book. So for this, ustedes van a dibujar su clase, aquí, cuando dice, mi clase tiene, my class has, you can use some vocabulary, vocabulario del libro y también de la ilustración aquí. And I want you to say it out loud, and I want you to write it down too. Now here are more things in my class, cosas en mi clase. So we're going to use the phrase today, I use. Please repeat after me. I use. Good. I use, como yo uso. I use a pencil. Yo uso un lapis. We can use other things with the phrase I use. I use a crayon. I use chalk, I use scissors, I use a ruler, lots of things. You know lots of words. You can use different words than here. You might say, I use markers. Or you might say, um, I use markers to draw. You can make your sentences longer. I use books to read. 
you can give me more information, okay? So I want you to say it out loud, and then I want you to write some things here. Now here are my examples. I use crayons, or you can say I use a ruler. For your other words, I use markers. And if you want extra, you can say to draw. I use books to read. But I want to make sure that you guys are using the phrase I use como yo uso. Really great job. I'm so proud of you.